This is a follow-up to the video uh, called blowing up a 10-inch guitar speaker. Um, there's a couple things that are going to correlate in this video with other videos that we've previously done. Say you got a guitar speaker and uh, you're not getting any sound out of it. You don't know what's wrong. You're trying to figure out if it's blown, if it's working, what's going on. Uh, first thing you can do is refer back to the testing your speaker's ohm loads video. Get your ohm meter out and test the uh, ohm load of the speaker. Um, if it's not giving you an ohm load at all, which this one isn't, because we just blew it up in the uh, previous video, uh, that's the first indicator that something's disconnected or not working right. There could be a speaker terminal lead or voice coil lead, but if you're not getting an ohm load, um, you're, you're, something's definitely wrong with the speaker. Uh, if you don't have an ohm meter, you can just use a 9 volt battery, which is also, we also go over this in the, uh, in the other video. Hold the battery to the speaker tabs, and you should hear it pop and see the speaker cone move in and out, which this one isn't going to do at all because we blew it up. Um, another good way to tell if the speaker is blown or if you have something wrong where the actual mechanical function of the speaker is not working, is very gently push up and down on the speaker cone to exercise the excursion of the speaker within its frame. If you don't hear anything crinkling or like there's a potato chip stuck in, in there getting crushed up and crinkled up, that's a good sign. Uh, now you'll see on this speaker, if you can get the camera close enough to hear this, this is the one that we blew up and you'll hear it. You'll hear how crispy that is. So you got no ohm load, it doesn't react to the battery test, and there's obviously some material in there that has expanded and is now rubbing on the outside edge and inside edge of the voice coil. So, a speaker repair person is going to do this. They're going to take and cut this cone out alongside the surround. And we'll show you how the voltage from overpowering this basically liquefies the voice coil. Let's go ahead and tear this thing up. We know it's blown. Alright, we just popped the cone from the spider. And there's your voice coil. You can see the edge of it is completely singed. It even stinks. Um, and here's your spider. And we'll go ahead and cut that away. See inside there. You can see all the copper wire from the voice coil. That's supposed to be copper, not black. So we totally scorched that thing uh, doing what we did. Let me get that thing out of the way real quick. Now we got the cone out of the way. And get the rest of the spider out of the way. This is an Ear Candy Heavy 70, and uh, notice that nowhere on it will you see the words made in China. So here you have the voice coil, what's left of it, and you can see the copper is blackened and is totally melted and come completely, there's what we're looking for, the winding of the voice coil. We completely burnt this thing in half. We got the voice coil winding so hot, it burnt itself in half. And there's the rest of your voice coil from our experiment. If you like this video, please rate it. If you have any questions, please shoot us a question or shoot us a video response even. Thanks for your time, and have a great day.